<laughs> we got our work cut out for us. We got going on so far and this is how we're living for just over a month now it's doing all right welcome back to raven willow farmstead well winter is coming and so are the cold temperatures and our trailer was just not up to snuff to keep us warm overnight. And so we had to make some decisions. With the news that our house would be delayed and the showers at the campground being shut down for the season, we were running out of options and we did not anticipate or were prepared to be off grid during a Canadian winter. So we had to make the tough decision to find a short term rental. Now it wasn't an easy process. Uh, we don't have internet or, or good phone reception on the property, so we'd have to go into town to, to make those phone calls and hopefully catch a return phone call while we're in town. It was quite a challenge to find someone that was willing to let us rent short term with two cats and two dogs and no references. But we finally found someone that was willing to give us a chance and let us rent for a couple of months. And welcome to our little cabin that we rented for about three months. It was right off the ocean. Super cute. Two bedrooms and one bathroom with a shower that was so nice. Especially since our last shower on the property was a balancing act of a water bag on a ladder and the mosquitoes surrounding us in hordes. Living in our trailer for the last couple months really helped us to realize how much we took for granted the more simple things in life like running water a flushing toilet and just having a space that you can be in that's warm and dry an oven <laughs> yes and an oven and shortly after we moved in we got the first snow so the timing couldn't have been better so i'm just randomly in sussex and look at this that is our house right there Caitlin this is our house it's got the brown roof it's got the blue siding that's our freaking house right here I can see it isn't this I just randomly came by and I saw prestige home see look that's our finish that is awesome don't think that you'll be able to see much inside but I can try I can't see because of the glare but that, that is our house isn't that freaking cool after seven months of research phone calls emails, consultations, and long nights of discussing details. Finally, all of that effort and work was culminated into this, our new mortgage-free home. It may be a small, humble home, but it's ours and we're so excited. As excited as we were to see our house on the lot, it was still going to be delayed and we were going to have to exercise patience to wait for it to be on the property and for us to be able to move in. It's just a whole family. It's nice. Staying in Shediac, we learned it had a lot to offer. There was numerous points of interest, restaurants, and just a overall great vibe in the town. 
and I really enjoyed being so close to the ocean and go see the tide come in and out and the waves and be able to sit on the deck outside of our little cabin and watch the ocean roll in. It's the Point Fishing Wharf is where we're going. On the weekends, we made sure to go out and, and spend some time on our property. We had a lot of work to do, a lot of uh, brush and trees to, to clear out and to prepare for that day when we can finally move back onto our property. The wood chipper pile just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Well, we got that whole section over there finished. Cut down, chopped, made a new pile for the wood chipper. What do you think, honey? Just a little bit more than it was earlier today. We've managed to get all this cleared down from here and this whole little valley. And then we'll get a wood chipper at some point and chop all that up, chip it. Now we're gonna work this way through all those trees that are half fallen over. And that's where the gardens are gonna go. Big this dude is. Oh. He's huge. Massive. Don't make him drop his tail. No. Holy moly. <laughs> He's so happy. If 
putting up these cute little bird houses today for the tree swallows so that they have a place to come and nest in the spring. All the crush is in place. I put poly underneath for water vapor. Should set up the camera septic over tanks here for when they come in. Have it ready. This will be our kind of our front yard. Probably like a waterfall and some nice lawn. And back here, there's about six to ten feet that we can come forward so that we can grade it out so it slopes out. A little bit further and then it's not so much of a steep grade there. And then down here the driveway is going to keep going to the back of the property. All those trees got cut up and we put it in a big pile. So we did a before video where this is so thick, completely filled with logs and trees and sticks. That's where the driveway's gonna come down from the road, from the, the house. Come and wrapping around that way. Wrap around. The house, the house is up there. On the edge of the property here, trying to spare as many maples as we can. And then that direction is the 50 acres. We cleared it all out by hand. That still needs to be done. That's where the driveway is going to keep going around the front of the house. And then there's the property line over there with that string. We'll use a wood chipper and chip all the branches, all those logs that we're not going to use. <laughs> that face again. <laughs> You're excited? Me too. We were beside ourselves with excitement for all the years of planning and hard work and effort. And the day has finally arrived. What was coming on this truck was a giant step towards living the lifestyle that we have been pursuing for years.